This time we stayed at the Ortana Lot Campground in La Belle, Florida. It is just under an hour east of Fort Myers and is on the Caloosahatchee River. And there are locks there so you can watch boats come and go. This campground was awesome. Check out why we like this Army Corps of Engineers campground. We're Dave and Karen from Locks on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full-time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy-duty truck Leroy, our two k motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. You have to watch for the small sign on the highway indicating where the campground is. That's the only sign you're going to see, so you have to keep your eyes peeled for that. When you turn down the road to the campground, it's about a mile down the road to get to the campground. There's one patchy area up front that likes to flood, so it's a little rough. So take your time driving over that. Other than that, you'll make a couple of bends in the road. You'll see a bunch of bulls and cows. And way in the back, you'll find the campground. And you'll see that they have a sign there that says that they're open from 7.30 a.m. to sunset. They will close the gate at sunset, but you will get a lock combinations so you can unlock the gate at any time to come and go. This campground was in awesome condition. Everything was paved. You come up to the guard shack. They'll give you a map. You don't have a bunch of other stuff to hang in your window. After we got checked in we just pulled straight ahead a little ways and that's where we dropped Zippy, our little smart car. The hosts were awesome here and you'll see that there are two loops. We traveled over the bridge we stayed in site number two. walk across here and then you have the locks over here on this side so you can actually go to land on that side as well and then they have fishing here by the dam they close this at four o'clock in the afternoon but you can come across here during the day check out the dam and the locks What you think? Pretty cool. Yeah. I wonder what those guys are fishing for. Look at the height difference from this side of the wall to that side of the wall. Looks like coffee. All of a sudden over the top of the water bottle. Yeah. When you see 
all the big bulls, you know, you're getting close. There's one with his penis hanging out. Oh, good God, now I'm gonna have to cut that. What? Just nature. When you come in the campground, you'll see that there is a gate that's open, and that gate closes at sunset, and it opens at 7.30, worth a sign. There is a lock on the gate, And they give you a code. So you can come and go as you like. You just have to open the gate on your own and then close the gate behind you. This is very pretty. It's all paved. And when you come up here and you give them your name, they'll give you a map. They don't have you hanging anything from any of your trucks or cars or anything. You just come on in. Hey, and there's two loops. Dump station. There's a dump station on the left as soon as you come in. There's two loops. We'll take the one on this station. side of the bridge and one on that side of the bridge. There's the dump oh, we're going to go through the dump station. And if you come in with a full tank and want to empty, it's 20 bucks because you did not generate your crap while you were here. However, your waste. Okay, your waste. And then, if you decide you want to use the dump station while you're staying here, you could do it once per week. I don't know who's counting it. But if you have a blue boy, you can use it all you want. Quiet hours are from 10 p.m. till 6 a.m. Speed limit's 15. And we are about 20 minutes from a Walmart. Not a whole lot out here, it's very quiet. There are 51 sites. Sites 31 to 51 are here as you first come in the campground on the left past the dump station. And it's right along the river. kept up very nicely. That was the entrance again. There's the guard shack again. So this loop is right behind the guard shack for the pull through. And then there's the bathhouse. I'll stop here and I'll take a video. There's one in the other loop as well and they both look the same. There are no laundry facilities here but they do have showers and regular flush toilets. and walkways over the creek here. And you can do gatherings there in the pavilion. And there's your dam and locks over on the left hand side. Extra parking right here for boat trailers and cars and whatever. Fishermen. Fishermen. A lot of people fish here. And there we are on this side. We're in site two.
each end of the loops. They have a little bridge going across the stream here, leading out to the river. And there's a fishing pier, or observation pier over here too. This is the other loop. Well, this is nice. It's all tracks. Yeah. It's like brand new. Ortana South Campground is an Army Corps of Engineers campground that is part of the Lake Okeechobee in LaBelle, Florida. They are open year-round and the cost is $30 a night unless you have the Merrick the Beautiful Senior discount card and then it's only $15 a night. You may stay up to 14 nights total at the campground within a rolling 30 days. When it comes to making changes to your reservation, if your new stay dates are completely different from your original stay dates, there's a $10 change fee. There are no additional fees for adding or removing nights to your stay or changing to a different campsite. You can cancel the reservation any time before the date of your scheduled arrival. And you'll receive a refund for your stay minus a $10 cancellation fee. As far as the facility goes, all campsites have concrete pads, electric, which is 30 amp and 50 amp, water hookups, a fire ring and a grill, and a covered picnic table. Other amenities include a sanitary dump station, restrooms with showers, dumpsters, Wi-Fi, and a picnic pavilion. Days visitors are allowed on site for fishing, and LaBelle is the nearest town, which is about 15 minutes away and has stores, restaurants, and a Walmart. The campground's terrain is flat and lined with tropical greenery like the Sable Palm, which is the state tree of Florida. The Caloosahatchee River to your north, and there's picturesque pastures to your south. Activities include camping, birding, fishing, and biking, and simply relaxing and strolling the grounds. Catfish, largemouth bass, bluegill, and crappie are the most commonly caught fish at the large pier at the campground. Several large bird species frequent the area if you're a bird watcher. And it's always fun to cross over the dam and watch the locks in action. Amenities include a dump station, fishing pier, horseshoe pit, pets are allowed, picnic shelters, showers, trash bins, water hookups, waterfront sites, fire pit, and electrical hookup. Nearby attractions include the annual Swamp Cabbage Festival held in LaBelle the last weekend in February. Campground quiet hours are from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Checkout time is at 11 a.m. Check-in time is at 12 p.m. Campsites have a maximum occupancy of eight people per site. So supposedly this morning when the locks opened up, there were about 30 manatees on the outside waiting to come in because this takes them over towards the nuclear power plant where the water is warmer. So the manatees know this uh, path. So at 4 o'clock when they discontinue the boat locking system, they will let these guys out. So there's two in here right now. And sometimes you make new friends. Hey, Karen. Watts on wheels. <laughs> yeah, this is this is our Canadian friends, Michelle and Daryl. Met them out here at Ortana. And we've been playing games at night and doing a little drinking, you know. Just, just having a really good time with you guys. Yeah, it's been <laughs> awesome. It was a pleasure to meet you guys on the road and real luck to come here and find you guys. Uh, yeah. We've been having a blast. <laughs> Us too. If you call that luck, don't go to Vegas. <laughs> Since we stayed there over the holidays, our host, David, Mary Lynn, Joyce, and Mike, had a couple of get-togethers and even passed out candy canes to everyone. These hosts were awesome. We are on our way to Manatee Park in Fort Myers, and it's about 40 minutes from the campground. Okay, let's see. We want to go to observation areas. So, 
over here. Over there. That's pretty walking through here. And then they have these little billboards as you go to give you some information. This park did not disappoint. We saw dozens of manatees. They are big critters. That one's been scarred up a few times. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.